She's in the wet. Everything is installed. I added some pieces of foam and did a primary uh, balancing thing for getting her uh, even on the water. Just a uh, precaution. We're gonna bring her down. First, open the valve. And she's down. As you can see, the valve is closed. And when I wanted to bring her up, I will start up the LPD. She will equalize the pressure. And you can bring her up to the water line. Until you see the bubbles appear, I did. This is the uh, maximum water line. The pieces of foam are uh, will be bigger when the uh, upper hull is there. So this is the idea. Going down. The valve closes. Also got propulsion. That's not an issue now for now. We can also test uh, the emergency voice system. I'll bring my transmitter offline and let's see what happens. First test inside the water. And it's it's loose but let's have a check. No, it's not, as you can see, a failure. And now you can see the... Uh, it's worth a try first in the top to see why does that fail. Transmitter online again. We'll pump her up. Let's have a look. Why she's failing? I always conduct my tests inside the tub, just as a precaution. So you always know what kind of trouble will hit you. First, let's kind of take a look. Why this is happening? Alright, just put her offline. Quit five seconds. And then we can see what's happening over here. Maybe it's a tube. It won't release. I have some bending to do, I think. But all in all, she can dive, I can bring her up, that works, so, I'm pleased. Bring her a little bit forward on the, on the power. I've reduced the power to uh, 70% because she was way off scale. If you want to go in a uh, maximum speed setting, I can always do this. Again. It's a uh, fantasy and you have to do that over and over and over and over and over again because uh, only this kind of practice will show you uh, if it works. All the issues will appear inside the tub instead of the open water so until this moment I'm uh, pre-checking the boat 
after it, 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 eh, its adventure in the bath. I took it apart simply for ventilating this tube. There will be always uh, some moisture inside it's due to the heat of the engines or you never know. It is some time for tinkering. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but the valve wasn't opening very smoothly. So I think the idea will be a piece of lead on top. Just to give it some more downforce. That's one point. Now it will open much easier because uh, low pressure pump will uh, create a slightly vacuum inside the tube so it needs some more force for getting open. Also uh, found out why this wasn't working properly. I hope I can show that. This is how it works. This is a tube. This is a little magnet with a hole inside. So you can slide it in. It will be locked by this putting in. What happened inside? It's a bit, tr bit tricky to show. It wasn't extended too far. So I hope you can see that inside. There's a little pin putting out, so I have to tinker that. And each time you're diving, you will uh, do a pre-check. So those faults will reveal themselves when testing the boat before going into the water. And in this case, I jumped into the water uh, because I wanted to try so desperately. She has been uh, too dry for too long, so. It will work, I'm pleased, battery compartment stay dry, a little bit of moisture in the back, so I have to investigate uh, where that comes from. I think it's partially because of the creative vacuum inside, so we have to see. Alter the, uh, the float valve, safety valve works fine, it will block the water when it's flooded, so. This is always a pre-check. Always do that with my dry hole bolts also. Open them up, look inside, see what, what's working and what's not working. But Next time I will uh, add this little piece of lead. I will uh, fix up this one and uh, we're going for uh, a lot of test trials just uh, to discover all the mistakes and all the things. I have to change about this boat.